Welcome to AquaSchedules. In this video, we will take you on a tour of the scheduling system using the interpreter interface. The day grid lists all the interpreter's appointments. Use the search feature to filter out certain appointments. A small calendar is also provided to switch between dates. The two visual views are a visual representation of the interpreter's appointments for the day. It is a great way to ensure appointments don't overlap. Click a bubble to see the appointment pop up. The monthly calendar shows daily volumes, quantities unassigned, and quick links to appointments. The vertical bars on the side represent AM and PM appointments. AM is colored in orange, and PM is colored in gray. Depending on the agency settings, interpreters may be able to claim appointments that are unassigned and meet the qualifications of the interpreter. A green flashing appointment means it is available for the interpreter to claim. Overlapping appointments groups an interpreter's appointments together that overlap with each other. If there are none that overlap, this area will be empty. Building view lists all past appointments that the interpreter has not yet billed for. The interpreter can open the appointment, change the status, and add a duration to bill for the appointment. Once the appointment has been billed for, it will disappear from the list. If the interpreter does not complete billing within five days, they will be blocked from claiming appointments until they complete their billing. An interpreter would change the status of an appointment from active to a status such as complete standard or patient no-show. Depending on the agency's settings, the interpreter could either enter an appointment duration or the actual start and end time of the appointment. In this case, it's simply a duration in minutes. Notice how when the page refreshes, the appointment we completed billing for is no longer listed in the billing area. The search area gives two methods for finding appointments. Search by ID allows you to enter a specific appointment ID, which then brings up that appointment. Search by date range allows you to set limits on the dates you want to look at. You can further refine the date range search by using the small search box on the top right of the grid information. A 
Available shows all appointments that are available to the interpreter matching their gender, location, badges, and regions. The available menu lets the interpreter enter their availability within the system. They can block out a duration of time when they will be on vacation. Here they can enter a start and end time, as well as add vacation details if they wish. Current availability lets the interpreter mark themselves as free until a certain time the same day. This helps the agency know who's available for a last minute appointment. Weekly availability lets the interpreter set times for when they are free each day of the week to take appointments. They can set a specific time or declare off. The resources menu lets the agency share documents and links with the interpreters. The reports menu gives an overview of the work interpreters have done from when they started interpreting, such as their total hours spent interpreting, their weekly activity, and their monthly earnings. Billing is another area that shows past appointments that have not yet been billed for. Invoice can be used for the interpreter to bill the agency for a certain billing period. This feature may also be linked to QuickBooks. Review area shows a month period with all appointment information, such as total earnings and status. Personal settings shows the interpreter's basic information, such as their email and phone number. Here, interpreters can set how they receive alerts from the agency. In languages, they can add another language that they interpret for. Google Calendar Connect setting lets the interpreter link their appointment schedule from the scheduling system to their Google Calendar. If the interpreter uses Apple Calendar or another type of calendar, they can synchronize it from Google Calendar. QuickBooks Online allows interpreters to create invoices to send to the interpreting agency automatically. The last setting allows interpreters to change their password if needed. We will now conclude the interpreter interface tour. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy using Aqua Schedules for your interpreting scheduling needs.